What's up, brothers and sisters? I'm gonna talk a little loud because I'm in the truck and uh, this engine is very loud. This, 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 this right here. This ain't no music. I don't got no music for you right now. I'm not putting a bunch of clips together to find the right song for the right uh, scene or any of that. This is serious. I mean, all the videos that I really post are serious. My messages are serious. But this, what I have to say today, is real serious. Could be real serious. Okay, so this is a warning. I wanted to take the time out to warn you guys. I don't, I don't have time to stop and make a video and stuff like that because I'm, I'm kind of pressed for time because I have to drop off these cars. But anyway, if you've seen the posts, you seen what I put on there, warning to America. If you remember, majority of my videos lately is dealing with warnings. Warning come before destruction, right? And uh, I was just about to post a video, was America warned before 9-11 came? Now that video I got, I got music, I got a bunch of clips put together that, that you probably would like, but you know I do those things because I try to, I try to paint a picture for you guys to see how serious what I'm telling you, how serious it is. Well, just in case the video clips wasn't enough to let you see how serious this was, I'm sure that you guys have been watching the news about Israel and how Hamas, uh, that, that terrorist group in Gaza, over there in Palestine, how on Saturday, October the 7th, last Saturday, they invaded Israel. They caught Israel off guard. Israel was on their was on their Sabbath, the day of their rest, where everybody was relaxing, and they came from the Gaza Strip, and they went over there and they brutally murdered, tortured a lot of people, a lot of Israel Israelites. They, I mean, a lot of people, man. I mean, it's it's if you guys been going online and seeing these videos, man, it is really horrible, man. What they did, man. This, to me, to me, what happened to them was like day 9-11, what happened to us. But for real, for real, it was worse. You know, we, we may have lost more so, so far. We lost 3,000 people. They lost over 1,000, but they still counted. But anyway, this is the thing I want to get to. Because I'm going to be talking about that and a bunch of other stuff coming up, right? Because my focus is on a warning come before destruction. If you remember my past videos, I said, I showed you the video when Iran was chanting in the streets, death to Israel and death to America. Well, look what they did to Israel. And America is next. The Hamas leader has posted it up for his followers all over the world, for the Muslims all over the world. He is instructing them that this is going to be a global war and that he's instructing them to carry out jihad. And just in case you don't know what jihad means, jihad basically means war. You know, he's telling them to carry out a war. War against who? Jews and Christians. And Christians represents Americans because that's what this country is. It's a Christian nation. That's what it was supposed to be. We drew, a, we drew away from that, but that's what this country is known as. Those people hate Israel and they hate America. And they were told, I'm going to read this. Look what it says. Look on your screen. It says, day of jihad. In other words, day of holy war. Day of war. Day of attack. It says, sparks warning for Americans to stay inside. This is a warning. The newspaper, the news is warning Americans, even though we ain't gonna do it, even though there's a lot of people ain't gonna do it, but the news is warning, giving out a warning, they're covering their backs that if this happens, the UN or nobody can count them, can hold them accountable that they didn't warn you. That's, that's why they did the, the alerts the other day. You remember that on the phone? They wanna make sure that they be able to give you a chance to warn you, because I don't know if you remember in Maui, in Hawaii, a couple of months back, all those people burned in that fire. They didn't get a warning. 
and those officials are in deep trouble behind that. So all of a sudden now, America want to send out text alerts to everybody in America telling, showing that, you know, that's like an alert, that's like a warning. Well, they're warning us. They're warning us about this day. This man is instructing jihad to take place on Friday the 13th, which is tomorrow. <laughs> And out of all the days, and out of all the months, they would pick Friday the 13th. We know that's an evil day. Because if we ever watch those movies, those movies was always about Jason killing people, beheading them, cutting off their heads, cutting off their arms, stabbing them to death. That's what Friday 13th represented. It may have been funny because it was a movie, but that's dead serious. People was dying on that day. This guy's instructing them to carry out this mission on that day, on October, on Friday the 13th. And he picked a, 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 a month of October. I call it the devil's month. This is Halloween month. It's the devil's month. <laughs> and he's carrying this out on the devil's month. Now listen, I'm not going to tell you this is 100% sure. I'm not going to tell you this is 100% fake. I don't know if it's true or if it's false. But I know that I've been running across this all through the media. I've been hearing, I've been hearing uh, the news uh, uh, talk about it, and I even heard that the the mayor of New York has 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 set out officers to surround the temple for the Jews to make sure that no hurt, harm, or danger will come to them. Because I don't know if y'all know, in New York, Jews are all over the place. I, you know, I go through New York frequently. Every trip, I'm going through New York. I'm through Manhattan, Queens, all that. And I see thousands of Jews out in the street all over the place. Little kids, the wives, the, the fathers, all of them out there. They wear the black hats with the little curl, and they got on all black. A lot of them wear glasses, you know. So my thing is this. If they go to carry that mission out to some Jews and you're around, it's possible you could get hit. You know, so that's why it's best. I know we Americans like to say, well, you know, I don't believe that's going to happen in America. That'll never happen in America. See, see that, that, that's, that's the thing I'm trying to get you guys away from. Don't never say that. 1941, we felt the same way. The Japanese came over here and they, they bombed and shot up and killed a lot of people in Pearl Harbor over there in Hawaii. All right? We thought we was fully protected. 9-11. Bin Laden warned. He gave out a warning like this about jihad. He's instructing his people, who are suicidal, by the way. He's instructing his people, Bin Laden, to go in and, and carry out attacks against the U.S. And that's when them guys, them nine guys, came over here to America, got the box cutters, they all separated, got on these planes, and they ran these planes into the World Trade Center and also the Pentagon. They killed a lot of people. They killed a lot of people in that building. These people are on a mindset. They're like robots. When these people tell them to do something, they don't care about their life. They're going to go how they go ahead and carry out the mission. These are the type of people we're dealing with. Now, you might say, well, Joe, who here is going to do that? You got to remember that border has been open for three years. There's millions of people that have came through that border. They've already caught some known terrorists. But just think about all the other ones that got away. They can't catch everybody. And they didn't catch everybody. You know, you got people, they say they had young guys come through here, young Chinese guys, young Russian guys, young Iranian guys. You know? Who's to say these these guys are, are, are military, uh, they look like military. You know, and, and you got he got they will have these people posted up all around America for a green light, just like right now, what this guy's doing. Let me read to you what this guy said. Let's look at that. He says, Khalid Marshall, the leader and founding member of Hamas, gave a speech today asking Muslims all around the world to do the following, to show anger especially next Friday. Now he said this last week. The next Friday he's talking about is tomorrow Friday. In Muslim countries and among Muslims. Let's go to number four. He said the most important thing he asked all Muslims around the world to carry jihad, which is the war. It's a Muslim, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Muslim war. By their souls, to carry jihad by their souls to fight and be martyrs 
for Al Qaeda. Look, look what he's saying. He's telling them to, to not only fight, but to be martyrs. In other words, go to the extent, even if somebody got to kill you, even you go and get your targets, even if the police is out there, even if they shooting, don't matter. You go ahead and be a martyr. A martyr is somebody who died for the cause. He's telling these people, like, like Ben Laden told the people that ran into the building to go ahead and be martyrs, and they counted that, they counted that a blessing. They counted that as something real, uh, real good, you know? That's the mindset of these people, man. It's, it's dangerous to be dealing with people like that, man, because they don't care about you pulling the gun out of them. They don't care about police surrounding them and pulling out guns. They don't care. They're going to kill you and then they'll be killed because they feel that they're going to go to paradise, which is a lie. The Bible says no murder will enter into the kingdom of heaven unless you repent. If you did that in your past and you repent and ask God to forgive you, yeah, he'll forgive you. But you ain't going to go killing people and then get killed and think you're going to open up your eyes in paradise. That is a lie from the devil. Anyway, so he says the most important thing he asked all Muslims around the world to carry jihad by their souls to fight and be martyrs for al qaeda I don't know if I'm saying that right. He wants Muslims to fight against Jews starting with the Muslims who live in the countries surrounding Israel, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, and Egypt. He says to go to the borders and try to enter. They didn't already do that, especially in America and over there in Europe. They didn't already flooded that. Let me tell you something. You've been watching the news. You've seen the uproar after what happened last Saturday with the Jews. You've seen the Jews and the Palestinians out in the streets of New York, out in the streets of Chicago, out in the streets of Florida. There are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of the Palestinians with their flag uh, 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 saying, forget the Jews, but they, they cussing. You know, and, and they're showing videos of dead Jews' bodies that was on the ground in Israel. They're showing the videos talking about, ha, 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 that's your boy. You know, and things like that. Now, where do these people come from? Where do they come from? A lot of them don't even speak English. Where do they come from? They came from that country. They came over here to America through our borders because it's wide open. And they're here for a reason. Warning. Warning, ladies and gentlemen. He said, this is the time for jihad to be, up, to be applied on the ground rather than just in theory. In other words, not just talking about it, but on ground. Get your foot on the ground and let's carry this mission out. That is the instructions coming from the Hamas leader. The same one who sent the people over there in Israel, in Israel the other day and killed all them babies and them girls. They said they had 250 uh, people, young kids at the... Um, at a raid party. I don't know if y'all seen the videos. If y'all didn't, don't worry. I'm going to show y'all all that later. But they had 250 people at the rave, um, rave party. You know, partying. And uh, these people came from out of the sky on gliders. And they thought it was part of the show. And the next thing you know, they, they was killing them like crazy. They were slaughtering them. Man, was, that was a terrible day, man. That, that's a day for Israel to remember because they said they haven't they haven't had any situation like that not even close to that for 50 years he said this is the time for jihad to be applied on the ground rather than in theory he asked them okay so look at this one now look at this one he said these are his final words funds are important but today we are asking for your blood and souls to be sacrificed for Palestine. For Palestine, man, that, that is crazy, man. That is crazy. Look at this one right here. So he's asking them for the sacrifice they souls. In other words, you know, go ahead and get killed for Palestine. They're getting killed over there a lot in Palestine because I don't know why they went over there messing with Israel. And that was the wrong thing for them to do. And they're, they're, they're receiving it. We're going to talk about a lot of that later. A lot of that, you know. I say, man, let's pray for the people in Palestine and let's pray for the people in Israel. I'm not trying to take sides, you know, anything like that. And I'm really talking about the innocent people, man, that's, that, that's suffering, you know, vengeance from Israel because of these things that Hamas did. You know, uh, he did give them a warning, though. I don't know if y'all saw that. He gave them a warning when, the, when Hamas attacked their attack country. He got on the news, the president of Israel, and he said, if you live in Gaza, you better exit now because I am going to bring that city to ruins. 
all your buildings will be rubble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe that off the face of the map. You better leave. There ain't that many people left. They, they, a lot of people stay. You know, a lot of people stay, man. And sorry to say, a lot of people got killed afterwards too. When them folks tell you to leave, man, you gotta leave. That's a warning. Talk about you ain't got nowhere to go. Find somewhere to go. <laughs> get out of the, get out of there. You know, you could have went through the borders of Egypt. You could have went through. Uh, at the time, Israel would accept you in, as long as you ain't no, uh, as long as you ain't a, a Hamas. You know, they would have accepted you into their borders. But you know, a lot of times people get get adjusted to where they are. Oh, I can't leave. This is my house, or my mama gave me this house, or my daddy left this house with me. My grandpa, this house, this house be this is so important because my my grandfather, and grandmama had this house. And then you can't, man, you can't think like that. That house is gonna turn to rubble, and you are gonna be right up under it. This is a warning. He gave them a warning. I've been telling y'all warning comes before destruction. I want to read this part right here. We are gonna close out because it's, we got bad lighting, ladies and gentlemen, because it's like six o'clock. It's about to get dark. I just wanted to make this video. I know you hear that humming sound from the truck. You know, normally I don't make videos like this, man, but when it's important, man, I want to try to warn you guys, man. Stay in the house tomorrow. Don't go to no place where a lot of people live. Men, keep your wives at home, your children at home. I'm keeping my wives and my children at home. Uh, uh, men, keep your wives and your children at home. Young girls, young guys, stay in the house. You know, don't go out. Wait till Saturday. Find out what, let's see what's gonna happen Friday. But let's see from inside of our house, not outside the street. But well, I'm gonna show you this one right here. He says, I predict possible terrorist attacks next Friday or even before in European countries and the U.S. In European countries and the U.S. against Jewish targets and also American targets. They see they remember they were screaming in the streets, not just death to Israel, but death to America. The two most hated hated countries in this whole entire world is Israel because they're the Jews and America because we're supposed to be Christians. They don't like Jews. They don't like Christians. They want to wipe us off the face of the map, map that, it, that this whole world would be Muslim. That's what they want. That ain't what they're going to get, but that's what they want. He also said here, number two, I predict protests in, in Muslim countries and in Western countries led by... I can't even see that. It's too blurry. Showing rage by acts of violence and destruction. I predict possible attacks against Americans and Jews in some of the Muslim countries. Let me tell you something. Ladies and gentlemen, this is serious. This is a threat. And this is not a threat to be taken lightly. This is a threat to be taken very seriously. Will it be carried out? I don't know. If they blow in smoke, I don't know. If they just if this is just a fear tactic, I don't know. But I was always told from a young kid. See, our older, older parents and older people, man, had a lot of wise sayings. And one of the wise sayings was, it's better to be safe than be sorry, right? Because a lot of a lot of people would sit here and say, oh, man, that ain't going to happen. Go out there in the streets and get, be, get caught up being in the wrong place at the wrong time and end up getting shot or killed when they could have just stayed home that night. So I just wanted to send that warning to you guys. Do not go out. Do not go out tomorrow. Keep me in prayer because I have no other choice. I am out here in the streets. I'm out here in the streets and I'm uh, I'm delivering. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I trust God though. I really do trust God. I trust God is gonna be with me. If I was at home, I wouldn't go nowhere. But because I have to work, this is something I have to do. And I have to uh, meet the customers and drop off their vehicles tomorrow and tonight. So you know, I have to do this. So I, I, I just trust God that you know that I'll be all right. But hey, a little prayer, a little extra prayer ain't gonna ain't, ain't gonna hurt. So y'all keep me in prayer. Y'all pray for y'all pray for the preacher. Pray that pray that I'll be all right. That I don't get caught up in no mess. <laughs> anyway, and if I do, if you hear I do, just know that I'm in heaven and continue to keep walking right. And we'll high five each other one day in heaven. <laughs> hey man, hey man, I just wanted to tell y'all, man, just be careful out there. Um, I got a video coming up saying uh, it's talking about uh, was America warned uh, before 9/11 came. I want you to watch that video. Make sure you watch that video. I show a lot of. Um, I saw a lot of details in there and proof that they was warned 
because there's an old saying, warning come before destruction, and that's true. I mean, just look at what I told you the president of Israel, he warned Gaza, you better leave that country. They didn't leave. There's a lot of videos out there about a lot of them got blown up, dead bodies all in the streets and everything because they didn't they didn't leave. Um, um, even even uh, Israel, we're going to talk about this later. Even Israel, uh, the Egyptian leader, came out and said, Man, I called the president of Israel. I told him that I believe something is going to happen on Saturday because he, he, I guess his intel, his intel, been telling him. Somebody had told him something. He tried to warn the president, but the president over there in Israel didn't take the warning seriously. So that's how we do sometimes, man. We think we so powerful. We think you know we're, we're more powerful than everybody. Oh, they, there's eh, just a few of them. I ain't worried about them. And see what happened. You lost a lot of people. You know he's denying it saying that he didn't tell him anything he's denying it but i mean just think about it. you think he'll really say yeah he told me because if he told me if he says that he told me if he admits that then he's held accountable for every person that died in their country on that day because he didn't do nothing when he got the warning but the man said that he gave him a warning and if the man didn't give him a warning iran was in the streets saying death to israel death to america and the president was on a show, I'm gonna show you that too, where he was telling, he was warning the people of America, you know, you gotta be careful not to let Iran get any nuclear weapons. He said they're scream he said he said they're screaming death to Israel, they also screaming death to America. They don't just wanna wipe us off to the face of the earth, they wanna wipe you off the face of the earth. So this is a warning he was giving to America, but not thinking about they caught you slipping. You obviously didn't take heed to the warnings. You know, so that, that's my main point, man. We have to make, I, ever since I came back, man, I've been on this time. I've been trying to tell y'all, man, do not overlook threats. Do not take threats um, lightly. Do not underestimate anybody. <laughs> Don't underestimate anybody. You know, here it is, yeah, Israel is more powerful than Gaza. They got nuclear bombs. They're way more powerful. Military is way more stronger, but yet it's still, here it comes. You thinking that you you powerful in them and you thinking they won't do nothing. Look what they did. You, a lot of people died on that day. We're going to get deeper into that. I'm going to also tell you this. I'm going to start getting deeper into things. There's going to be some things I can't really say on YouTube. So on the next video that I post, not this one, but the next video I post, I'm going to put my uh, Rumble. I have a Rumble account. I'm going to put my Rumble in the comments on my next video. So that anytime some days go by y'all don't see me, Y'all go ahead and check Rumble because there's some videos I'm going to post on Rumble that actually, one thing about Rumble, Rumble respect your First Amendment, your freedom of speech. You know, YouTube is real sensitive. You can't say this, you can't say that. They'll pull your video down. They won't allow you to uh, make no videos for a week. I don't get paid by YouTube. Y'all know that because I, I play music. I love playing music in my life. I don't get paid you by YouTube, but so I don't care about that. I ain't looking about the money, but it's just the thing that they're stopping me or prohibiting me from going ahead to go uh, to go on and say something. Amen. So anyway, I ain't gonna hold you guys time up, man. I know you probably aggravated about this little engine noise in the back. Sorry about that, brothers and sisters. God bless you guys. I love you guys. And uh, take heed to what I'm saying. Share this video with your friends. Tell your friends. Tell everybody. Hey, don't go out Friday. Friday the 13th, stay in the house. If you have to, watch Friday the 13th at home, but don't go out and be part of Friday the 13th. <laughs> God bless you guys, love you guys. See you on the next upload.